so far we have dealt with uh, differential equations that are non-homogeneous that have either a polynomial on the right hand side or an exponential function on the right hand side so in this video I'm gonna show you what to do when you have a trigonometric function instead so let's use the same differential equation as we have been using so far minus 3y but this time the function of t is gonna be 5 cos 2t so that's a trigonometric function there so what are we gonna do well homogeneous solution as we found in the previous videos is going to be c1e to minus t plus c2e to the 3t and now to set up y we need to first of all substitute all the constants by some undetermined coefficient so in here we can use something like a cos 2t but because this is a trigonometric function we actually need to include the other part of the trigonometric function which is going to be actually sine and the reason for that is that y if you remember from when we were solving homogeneous differential equations there, act there is actually a case in which we will get a um, sum of trigonometric functions like this so this is why we're going to assume the solution is the sum of a cosine and a sine instead of just a cosine so what are we going to do with this? Well, we're just going to differentiate it. So this is going to become minus 2a sine 2t plus 2b cos 2t. And then we're going to have y double prime. That's going to become minus 4a cos t this is going to be going minus 4b sine 2t so now that we have these two things together all we need to do is put them back into the differential equation here and we're going to solve for those two constants a and b so that we can find the general solution to the whole differential equation now grouping these terms is going to be a bit tricky so i'm just going to do it here and i'm just going to make some room and hopefully you can see what the method is like so we're gonna have y double prime in here so that's gonna be minus 4 a t sorry not 4 a t it's 4 cos 2 t minus 4 b sine 2 t and the second term is going to be minus 2, minus 2a two sine 2t two plus 2b sine 2t. And the final one is going to be minus 3a cos 2t plus b sine 2t. And all of that is going to be equal to 5 cos t so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna expand this out simplify it and then hopefully with that we can actually find values for a and b so let's see if we can do some simplifications here well we're gonna end up with the following if we factorize the uh, constants a little bit minus 4 b minus 4 b minus 3 a times cos 2t plus minus 4b plus 4a minus 3b sine 2t and all of that is going to be equal to 5 cosine 2t and I'm going to add another term here and I'm going to call it 0 sine 2t because this is basically the same as 0 but the reason I'm adding it here is so that we can actually match up the sine terms together and the cosine terms together, as we will do now. So in the end, by comparing the coefficients, we're going to end up with a equals to minus 7 over 13. And then we're going to have b equals to minus 4 over 13. So I'm just going to leave that to you as an exercise, just basically just matching this up and 
solving for A and then B. So that's just going to be solving simultaneous equations. And in the end, you're going to end up with the following function, which is going to be minus 7 over 13 cosine of 2t minus 4 over 13 sine of 2t. So your final general solution is going to be going to make some room here. The final one is going to be y of t is going to be equal to c1 e minus t plus c2 e to the 3t minus 7 over 13 cosine of 2t minus 4 over 13 sine of 2t. So that's essentially how you would solve it. Now, what happens when you have something like some differential equation here and whatever equals to a sum functions of t? So let's say you have different functions like an exponential function plus a trigonometric function plus a, a polynomial function. Well, in that case, we were going to apply the same method, but we're going to make uh, do a superposition of all those solutions together. And that's what we're going to do in the next video.